Hey guys, it's Vignesh from Code Android. In this video, we'll see how to create clickable widget in Android. To demonstrate this, I already created a project and added a widget without configuration screen. In the layout file, I want to add a image view which shows refresh icon. On click of the icon, we can refresh the widget. So, I'm adding a image view with width as 40 dp and height as 40 dp. For source, I'm going to use an Android drawable called State Notify Sync. We want this icon to the center of the screen, so I'm adding center in vertical true and align parent end as true. To support lower API, I'm adding align parent right as true. Assigning ID for the image view as IV underscore sync. We want this text view ends before the image view, so I'm adding two start off as IV underscore sync as well as two left off as IV underscore sync. Also, we want this text to the center of the text view, so I'm adding gravity as center. Currently, I'm generating a random number and storing it as a text for widget text view. Now, on click of the sync icon, we want to change the number. To do that, we need to trigger an action using pending intent and we need to catch the action in our app widget provider class. To trigger the pending intent, we need to use a method called set on click pending intent. Inside, we need to pass two parameters, id and the pending intent. For id, I am passing r.id.iv underscore sync. For pending intent, we need an intent. So, I'm creating a value called intent and pointing to the same widget class. For this, we need to pass an action. So, I'm creating a constant value called widget sync. We need to give a unique value here. I'm giving it widget sync. Now, setting this constant value as an action for our intent. Also, we want to send the widget ID. So, I'm adding an extra called app widget ID and passing app widget ID. Finally, creating a pending intent using pending intent dot get broadcast by passing context zero intent and zero. We'll pass this pending intent on click of IV sync. Now we need to handle the custom action. To handle that, we need to override a method called onReceived. Inside, I am checking the intent's action. If intent action is equals to widget sync, then I am updating the widget. Using getExtra method, I am getting app widget ID and storing it into a value called app widget ID. For getting the app widget manager, I am calling app widget manager dot get instance of context. Now we'll launch the application. You can see on click of the sync icon, the widget is refreshing. Using widget info.xml, we can able to set the minimum refresh time as 30 minutes. If we want to refresh the widget more than once in 30 minutes, then we need to refresh the widget using broadcast receivers. If we set update period mills as 0, then the system will not refresh the widget. Now, we need to refresh the widget using broadcast receiver and alarm manager. Inside on enabled method, we need to create the alarm manager. For creating the alarm manager, we need an intent. So, I am copying the intent from here and pasting it here. We don't have app widget ID, so I am removing it from here. We need to start this pending intent using alarm manager. For alarm manager, we need a time to launch. So I'm getting the current time and setting its seconds as zero and adding one minute to it. Getting the alarm manager from system service by passing context.alarm service and then typecasting it into alarm manager. We want to refresh the widget periodically, so I'm setting repeating alarm manager by passing alarm manager dot RTC, current time, refresh interval and pending intent. 
when the alarm manager triggers the pending intent we are not passing the app widget id so here the app will crash to avoid that we need to store all the widget id inside a preference in on receive method we need to retrieve the value from said preference to do that i'm creating a class called my preference in which i'm adding a getter and setter for storing set of strings creating object of my preference class inside our widget class from now onwards we are going to get the widget id from said preference so we don't need to pass app widget id here now we need to add the ids into said preference to do that i'm checking if preference is not initialized then initializing the object using preference object i'm getting old widget ids and storing it into a value called ids in this id set i'm adding all the widget ids so if it is not there in the set then it will insert it after adding all the values into ids updating the preference with updated set in receiver also we need preference object so i'm copying the preference code and pasting it here looping the widget ids which we got from preference and updating the widgets now we'll launch the application you can see after 1 minute the widget is refreshing that's all for this tutorial guys if you want to support me you can do that by becoming a patron at patreon.com/codeandroid hope you like it I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.